I'm going to start off basic. If you could state your rank, your full name, and where you're coming from. Uh, Colonel uh, Dave Burton. I am the uh, program manager for Intel Systems at Marine Corps Systems Command. And where'd you grow up from, sir? Well, I was actually born in the uh, West Indies in Jamaica, but I grew up in uh, Northeast D.C. Okay. Grew up in D.C. though. Sure. Yeah, Master Gun uh, Richard Babb. You can still find him around D.C. Okay. Yeah. Um, so how do you know General Carter? Well, actually, uh, uh, Jerry and I were in school together at Morehouse College. Um, so we met uh, around uh, 1989 when I was a graduating senior, and, uh, and he was coming into the, uh, the MESEP program. He was a corporal at the time, uh, I believe. Uh, but, you, you know, even then you can tell with the way that he carried himself, you know, that he was someone who would go far in the, uh, in the Corps. You could tell back then that this was someone who was def definitely destined to become a leader of Marines. Absolutely. He, he was a leader then, um, and he obviously uh, continues to lead now. But just the way that he interacted with people. You know, um, you know when you met him, you know, he... He, he would look you in the eye and you could tell that there was, there was genuine, um, you know, concern and interest in, uh, in, in what you were saying. And he was also, you know, just very helpful because uh, he was prior enlisted, you know, and he had uh, experience in the operating forces. He brought that back, uh, you know, to the Marines, was very helpful with, um, you know, preparing for officer candidate school and, and those things. Uh, Morehouse College uh, is known for producing leaders. You know, uh, it's the school where uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, graduated uh, from. You know, so it, it was the history that was associated with the college and me personally, you know, just wanting to be associated, you know, with that uh, leadership uh, community and, uh, and gain from it. Absolutely. We, um, we saw each other uh, periodically, you know, as, um, as we, uh, we both uh, served and, um, and, and, and was promoted in our careers. Um, you know, he would go off and do things with, uh, with JSOC and, uh, and then come back to the operating forces. I knew him when he was the uh, battalion uh, commander, you know, for our uh, 2nd Radio Battalion um, and uh, his time as a, as a MEF G2. So our, our careers have, uh, have crisscrossed uh, numerous times across the years. How do you feel about him as promoted general? Oh, we're, we're, we're very proud of him. Um, but there was, um, there was always uh, this uh, something extra, you know, about, uh, about Jerry that, that we knew, you know, that he was destined um, for, uh, for greatness. So we're obviously just very, very proud of him, you know, that he's, um, he's achieved uh, this, uh, this next step uh, in his progression. But there was also, um, you know, th th there was a realization that, that he was going to do something special, so we were not, were not at all surprised by it. You know, it reminded me of the um, of the uh, birthday ball cake ceremony, where the um, the oldest marine passes uh, the cake to the youngest marine, um, uh, symbolizing you know passing uh, wisdom and experience. You know, so we look at um, what the the Montford Point Marines did in terms of. Uh, establishing themselves in the Marine Corps as basically being the uh, building blocks um, that were put in place 
that um, you resulted in, in my success, in General Carter's uh, uh, success. So um, we see them as being the, the foundation for what was, uh, was, was built for uh, African Americans in the room Corps. 